Everyone experiences pain, but only a few have experienced the intense pain of sickle cell disease, a pain more intense than childbirth, an open bone fracture, or a hammer on the thumb. For the sickle cell patient, this intense pain occurs in unpredictable episodes throughout their lives. This intense pain can cause them to miss out on important life events. Imagine missing your child's big events repeatedly because of your pain. Imagine trying to study or start a career while living with sickle cell pain. Sickle cell patients spend a lot of their time in the hospital because of their pain. Many patients are in pain 50% of their days, even when they do not go to the hospital. The pain of sickle cell disease is very real. Sickle cell vaso-occlusive pain is more severe than most other pain conditions encountered in the emergency department. However, it is very important to know that the facial expression of a sickle cell patient is not a reliable indicator of pain. Their reflection of pain is like the tip of an iceberg. The full extent of their pain is hidden underneath the surface. They often train themselves to hide the outward pain and keep control of emotions in order to live with many days and years of pain. Just because it cannot be seen, it is sometimes not treated with the same urgency. Poor blood flow leads to acute tissue ischemia and produces vaso-occlusive pain, which is much like heart attack pain, however, all over the body. Sickle cell disease leads to blood flow abnormalities in at least three ways. Rigid cells, causing log jam and high viscosity, sticky cells, and constricted blood vessels. These physiological changes can be aggravated by emotional stress. Sickle cell pain can start from tissue damage. Also, sickle cell disease can lead to damage to the peripheral nerves or plasticity in the central nervous system. This results in neuropathic pain. Sickle cell pain often gets worse with movement or emotional stress, so patients learn not to thrash around or scream in pain. For example, a grimace takes energy the patient does not have and you may see a lack of expression. Children often have even more difficulty explaining their pain. They may display a flat affect. Clinicians' behaviors can help the pain medications work better by reducing the patient's fear and increasing their trust. Stressful situations such as loud or cold environments, impatient healthcare providers, and long wait times can increase the pain and reduce the effectiveness of the pain medications. Thus, it is important for the clinician to be courteous, patient, gentle, and caring. Patients can become frustrated if they sense that their reports of pain are not being taken seriously. Patients can also become frustrated if their individualized pain management plan that was developed by their physician is not being used in the emergency department. Anxiety can also occur when a patient experiences delays and mishaps in pain management, often aggravating the pain. The pathophysiology of sickle cell does mean that emotional stress can worsen the blood flow and increase pain. I am used to having my medications given to me a certain way. My doctor has also made protocols for me. But the other doctors and nursing staff will not respect my pain regimens and protocols. This behavior sends me into a bigger crisis and it takes much longer for me to get well. Whereas in the end, they end up doing things my way and my doctor's protocol way. And it's a waste of time and energy. It leaves me hurting and stresses me out. Please remember, sickle cell patients often respond differently to drugs than other patients. For example, many sickle cell patients eliminate opioids up to 10 times faster than people without sickle cell disease. Since pain medication may be more rapidly eliminated from a sickle cell patient's body, the amount remaining in their system is much less than someone without sickle cell disease who was given the same dose at the same time. This is just one of the many reasons why some sickle cell patients require more pain medication than those without sickle cell disease. With adequate management, patients with sickle cell disease can live productive, successful lives despite their chronic pain.